from that oh. either. You <laughs> but, but you can't kill me. Not just like that. Shut the fuck up, you. Screw this. Okay. Look, you. He's coming with me. He's Sir Radzik's prisoner, and only Sir Radzik has the right to decide if he lives or dies. I don't give a fuck about you or Sir Radzik fucking Kabila. That bastard killed my boy, and I'm gonna kill him. You'll have to deal with me first. Please don't run. So let me get this straight. Are you guys ready for my least favorite thing in the game? Of any majority of games? I have to go all the way from here to all the way back to Bretagne just to go back past a group, this town a little bit more north to go see Razik. Game logic. I'll see you back at the lookout. Well, I should mention he's in there now. Game? Okay. I know you game. I haven't seen him in a while. Woot. What a fun time to be alive. Alright. Now. In case you don't know where I have to go. You'll never guess. So, if we go back to the map, Merhoid's where we just went, but guess what? It's right north of Merhoid! I'll be back. Alright. So, like I said, I'm kind of mad. Because we just basically wasted all that time. He ran away from me for no reason. Hey, Wolf Radzik. What's up? Greetings. What business have you? You know what I hear. Sir, I've been to Ujits, and the parish priest there is very odd indeed. He's very handy with a sword. Do you know anything about him, sir? Godwin? Aye, an intriguing fellow. He's the youngest son of one of the lords of Kuttenberg. He was sent to the university to become a priest, as is customary with the youngest son. But he didn't much care for it. So when he finished studying, instead of taking up his parish, he went roaming. I imagine he had a pretty adventurous life. And then one day he came back and settled down. Hanush would know more about him. All right, I've returned from Mehoyed, sir. How does it look there? I brought them help from the monastery. Brother Nicodemus and Yahanka from Skalitz. Fortunately, Nicodemus was able to cure the disease. Well, at least what he's doing looks promising so far. Thank Christ. Some good news for a change. What about the captive? Did you question him? He was infected too. I see. Did he survive? Fortunately, he survived and I had a chance to question him. What did you find out? He was transporting the false coins to Privislavitz. He got them from some merchant called Menhart. I don't know him. Neither do I. But I know where the money's handed over. It's not far from Rovna, and this Menhart should be waiting there about now. Excellent, Henry. We mustn't let this opportunity slip through our fingers. You go there and put pressure on this Menhart to tell us what he knows. 
Don't go yet. There's something I'd like to talk to you about. What? Good luck, man. You haven't disappointed me. Nothing against Bernard, Robard, or any of those others. But none of them could find out as much as you. At least not without beatings and torture. And that doesn't always work. You're a godsend, lad. Thank you, sir. Now go and find out who's behind everything, and then we'll deal with them. Uh. Yes, sir. Very wholesome moment. Sir. What is it? Sometimes I ask myself what, what it all means. Why does God allow such things to happen? All this slaughter and revenge over and over. It's a hard question. I'm no theologian. But long ago I came to the conclusion that the only thing that makes sense is that it's all a trial. Life is one long series of problems to solve. The more you solve, the better a man you become. I never thought about it that way. Well, just look at the pampered ones who have no concerns in life, like young Lord Capon, for instance. I shudder to think how he will rule when his time comes. True relations spawn in life over and over again. We must stand our ground and face them. So, I go to Sasso and solve this one. Hmm? You can rely on me, sir. Son. I wonder how old Ramsey is. Cause he can't be that, but like, maybe like 10, 15 years older than Henry. All right, money. Questions and answers is now so. All that glister. Been to Rob Robna? We have. But you're not that far away from here if we want. I'm gonna be lazy again. I'm not playing on hardcore for that reason, because I love fast traveling too much because I'm lazy. I mean granted with this game though, like you could probably get there a little bit faster. I feel like you could actually. Hmm. Probably not as fast as him moving, though. I don't know. Nerf it's an issue. Actually, I should have said I'll that food still. My hand is like, oh man. Come on! Good God, what a bloody mess. Someone was wounded here. It looks like another person dragged him off. Maybe there'll be some tracks. Right. 
Looks like blood. Blood. Another clue. I must be going the right way. Tarkovan. Good day to you. What do you need? What happened at the crossroads? Huh? Huh? I'm a friend of his. Who? That fellow you brought here. I need to find him. I have to help him. I owe it to him, you see. I don't know nothing, and I haven't seen him. You want to know something about it? Just ask Boya. I don't want nothing to do with it. Who is this Boya? Boya cracks the whip around here. You'll recognize him by his red cap. Thank you. Good luck to you. Oh, Boya! It looks like blood. I'm on the right track. Another clue. I must be going the right way. I hope I can be of help to you, Mark. What do you know about the wagon that's been ambushed at the crossroads? I haven't a clue what you're talking about. Really? Yes. Is that a problem? Do you have any idea whose wagon it was? I don't know. And I don't care. Well, I'll tell you. I'm sure you've heard of the gang that burned down Neuhof. Possibly. And poison the well in Merhoyed. They're the kind of men you don't want to get on the wrong side of. I didn't get on the wrong side of them, though. Did I? The opposite. Actually, we helped them out. And I didn't even know who they were. What happened? Let's just get this straight. We didn't ambush anyone. And what were you doing at the crossroads, then? We were just passing, and we saw the wagon. So we took the sacks. Just the sacks? What about the trail of bloodstains leading to the camp? I, I was just getting to that. We also found one wounded man. What am I saying, wounded? Um, the fellow was hat like a martyr in some holy picture. He begged us to hide him away. So you have him here somewhere? Is he still alive? The fellow has quite a will to live. I'll give him that. Do you know who ambushed that wagon? Not a clue. We came a long way after. Did he tell you anything? He wasn't exactly talkative. His lungs are full of holes, so talking's a problem. Can I talk to him? Where is he? We've locked him away, in the shed. There. I want to talk to him. Uh, I don't know. He paid us. We're not to let anyone near him. I don't mean to hurt him. So be it. Here. Take the key. Thanks. God be with you.
Never mind now. I've come to help you. Oh, thank God. I thought I'd breathe my last here. Lucky for me, my guardian angel comes bursting through the door. I'm no angel, so you'll have to answer a few questions before you get my help. Ah, oh, well, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Who is it you work for? Who did the wagon belong to? To Menhart. He's some kind of merchant who hired me for protection. But that's all I know. Hmm. And where's this Menhart disappeared off to? No idea. I blacked out after the attack. Only came to my senses once I got here. I don't even know where here is. Fair enough. Who ambushed that wagon? A knight. He's been following us for a while. And where did he go? I don't know. I got a beating, and then I passed out. Do you know what you were carrying in that one? <coughs> I never asked men heart that. <coughs> Tell me more about the night. Where's the coin? What? What coin? I will not repeat the question. That, I, I don't know about any coin. I God! Where are oh. those sacks you took from the wagon? Sacks? They're behind the shed. That's him. That's got to be that knight. Is that all? Did you take anything else? Uh-uh. Oh. that guy! Fuck! Stop! Stop right there! Yeah. 